Hello, welcome to Bars and Bells. My name is Lauren. In this video, we will be exploring the getup. Follow along, leave any questions in the comment section below, and be sure to like and subscribe. Let's get started. I'm going to start today by showing you a full getup from the ground up with a kettlebell. Do not follow along, just watch right now. It's a similar start to our arm bar where we cuddle, roll, and press. From our set position, we use our hip to push roll onto our elbow. Find our hand with a nice proud shoulder. Looking at our bell the whole time as we lift and sweep. Hand leaves the floor, front foot moves, stand up together. Perform the reverse back down. Drop back lunge, front foot opens, Hinge, hand finds floor, sweep to your elbow, and control to your back. Two hands, bell pulls down, cuddle position. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Spinning around, cuddling my kettlebell. Press from that firing range position, hip extend, pull on elbow. Find the hand, keeping the shoulder packed, lift sweep. Hand leaves floor, front foot moves, lunge to stand, reverse step, open, hinge, sweep, elbow, and control to your back. Two hands, return the bell to the floor through a cuddle. Now that you've seen a full get up, I'd like to break it down step by step. In this video, please only use a light, light load or your own body weight. I will not be using the kettlebell again. Again, we'll get on the floor on our back. I'm gonna start with my right arm. So I'll be cueing through my right arm. It'd be easiest if you followed along starting there as well. Cuddle onto your right side. Pretending to bring your object with you onto your back, press the bell with two hands, just like we would in our arm bar. Hand, left hand is removed on the floor at 45 degrees. Your left leg is extended also out from your body about 45 degrees. These this arm and leg are on parallel lines here. Pack that shoulder that has your imaginary bell. Take your right foot, I step mine a little bit wider, and I push my foot into the floor to drive through my hip, just like a glute bridge learned in the basics video in the body section. I push into the floor, I extend my hip. From here, I'm gonna push a little bit more and pull on my elbow to end in this tall sit here. Look down at your elbow. Your shoulder should be stacked over top of your elbow and nice and proud. This is a nice proud shoulder. This is I'm hanging at the beach having a nice afternoon. Proud shoulder always. Let's go back to our back and repeat that again. Push away from your elbow to control yourself onto your back. Same move, use your foot. Push with your hip, pull on your elbow, nice and proud. Push away, control back down. One more time on your right side. Push into the floor, hip extends, pull. Back down to your back. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Pull your bell down, cuddle. Bring it around your head to the other side. On my left side now, left hand grips, right hand cuddles, roll into my back, two-handed press. Right hand out on the floor, right arm out at 45, right leg left out at 45. Pack your shoulder, nice straight elbow, using your hip extension, push, roll, pull. Come back to your back. Use your hip and your glute, pull and back onto your back. 
Biggest thing here is that we use that hip for extra power. When you have a 100 pound kettlebell in your arm, you cannot do an ab crunch here. Use your hip extension, pull on the floor, control back to your back. Two hands, bell pulls down, cuddles. We're gonna work through to our sweeping position here. Come back to the right side, grab your imaginary bell, roll onto your back, press it, set up in your start position. From here, we're gonna work through the move we know, push into the floor to your elbow. Next, you're gonna find your hand. In this position again, that hand and that elbow is straight, hand is rooted to the floor, shoulder is packed. We might need to move that right foot a little bit. We're gonna lift our hips and where my hip is right now, that knee is going to land. I'm gonna lift up, sweep my long leg through, my left leg through, knee lands where my butt just was. Let's go back to where we just came from. Brace, lift up, hip finds the floor, nice pack shoulder. Two more times. Maybe looking up at your bell if you could, knee sweeps under and back. One last time, lift, sweep. Shoulders are now stacked and back all the way down to your elbow and control to your back. Two hands, bell comes down, cuddle to the other side. Same thing, other side, left hand cuddles, rolls, presses, firing range position here. Right leg is out 45, right arm is out 45. Pack that shoulder. Use your left foot to push, roll, pull. Find your hand. From here, lift, sweep. Knee is where that glute just was. Sweep back, tall sit. Lift, sweep, and back. And one more time, lift, sweep. Keep those shoulders stacked. Back through to your elbow and back all the way down to your back. Pull that bell down, cuddle it over. Whew. All right, we're gonna put those couple steps together and get up to our lunge position and talk about that. Back to our right arm. Imaginary bell cuddle, roll onto our back, two-handed press, left hand heavy on the floor, left leg heavy, right shoulder packed. Looking at your bell until the lunge position. Use your hip extension, pull onto your elbow. Find your hand, we've been here before. Do your sweep, hands gonna leave the floor. Now from here, we're gonna move our front foot to get into a lunge position. From this lunge position here, let's just pull our arm and talk about this lunge position. Both my hips are pointed forward. I have my back toe tucked underneath me. As I stand up, I'm gonna think about using both legs to help me up by almost scissoring or pulling the floor together. Let's stand up, push through that back leg, up both legs together. It was our right arm up, so let's just put that back overhead, lunge back down. A nice little trick, the leg you can touch is the leg that steps back. So step back, lunge, now, you're back to that lunge position. Let's do one more up. Both hips forward and level. Use both legs. Hop, together. Leg you can touch, drop back. Foot opens. Hinge, start looking at your bell. Hand finds the floor. Sweep. Elbow, all the way to your back. Two hands, bell comes down, cuddle. Switch it to the other side. Left arm cuddles. Roll onto your back. Two-handed press. Firing range position. Use your hip. Pull to elbow. Lift. Sweep. Hand leaves floor. Front foot moves. Both legs up. Step back lunge. To be even, we'll do that twice. Step back lunge. Both legs up. Last time, step back, rotate open, hinge, sweep, 
elbow and controlled to your back. Two hands, bell comes down, cuddles. Whew. So we've broken down the get up a couple times. Now we're gonna perform two in a row, continuous on each side. I'll give you step-by-step -step instructions on the first one, and then I'm gonna talk a little bit less on the second one. I'm gonna start with my right arm again. Two in a row. Cuddle on my right. Roll onto my back. Two-handed press. Left leg straight, left arm up. Hip extend, push, roll, pull. Find your hand. Lift, sweep. Hand leaves floor. Front foot moves. Both legs up. Step back, lunge. Front foot opens. Chop hip. Sweep. Elbow. Back. Stay in that position. Come back up. Hip extend. Sweep. Front foot. Step back. And control all the way to your back. Two hands. Pull down. Cuddle. Time to switch sides. When you're using a heavy kettlebell to switch sides, you should either drag it on the floor around your head or rotate yourself. I'm gonna rotate myself. Left side. Cuddle onto your left. Roll onto your back. Two-handed press. Set up. Same thing. Push, roll, pull. Find your hand. Lift, sweep. Hand leaves floor. Front foot moves. Lunge up. Leg you can touch. Open up. Hinge. Sweep. Elbow. To your back. Last get up today. Push, roll, pull. Front foot moves. Sweep. Elbow. Two hands. Cuddle. Roll. Thank you for following along in this get up video. The get ups have many steps but keep practicing and you'll memorize it soon. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. Here at Bars and Bells, we provide simple exercises to feel strong. Continue practicing the basic series and we look forward to having you in class.